Welcome back to Jack B. Sales. Earlier we just showed you how to replace the deck belt on an X-Mark laser. Today and right now we're going to show you how to do it on a Skag Tiger Cat. Most Skags will be the same, a little bit different, but for the most part they're going to be the same. We have already taken the deck covers off on both sides. Uh, so what we're going to do, climb up on the mower, let your deck down, make it easier to get to, and then you want to take your foot platform raise it up and get to your belt next what you want to do is take your half inch drive ratchet you don't have some models you need a little extension other models you don't on this model you have two different belts you have your main drive belt and then you have a right hand deck belt so to release the tension, right here there is a half inch drive square hole. Take your ratchet, you may have to move the belt around to get it in there. Put your ratchet or pry bar in there. And then pull the tension off, slide your belt off. And watch out because that spring is pretty stout. So it doesn't get your fingers. Take the belt off. And you got your left hand belt off. To take the right hand belt, you go pretty close to the same thing. There's another square hole. Put your ratchet on there, let the tension off, and then remove your belt from the pulley. Take your belt off, and then get your new one. If your belt just happened to come off, you just want to put it back on, then I'll show you how to put it back on. You always want to do your right hand first because when you do your double pulley, it goes on the bottom. So what you do is you put your belt in your center spindle and put it in the bottom groove. Next what you want to do is round it around this right hand spindle. Take your hand, sometimes the spring will pump come off, just pop it back on until you got some tension. Pull it back a little bit to where you can put your belt around there. And then grab your ratchet and release your tension so you can put the belt around the pull. And of course, this one's going to be difficult. That's <laughs> because that's right. You got it right there. We're gonna go about this another way. We'll put And then now your belt's on. Same thing for your big belt, fit brakes, replace it. If not, it came off, just pop back on. This one is a little bit more tricky. So you go ahead and you put it towards the back. There's a spring in the back that you have to put it around. We'll get to that in just a second. Go ahead and put your belt in your double pulley in your middle. And then put the flat side of the pulley on the flat side. Make sure that it's in between the belt guide and the pool. Now we'll go to the back where the spring is. 
look down here on the bottom and there's a spring for your pump belt it goes on the top side of that spring and then just ride it around your clutch pull once you got it in there you go back up to your front grab your ratchet go ahead make sure make sure it's in full pull it tight a little bit with your hand just to put a little bit of tension on the belt grab your ratchet Put it in your hole and release the tension. Put the belt on there. Remove your ratchet. Put your foot plate back on and you're ready to go.